So I've been on this journey, let's call it, to find a good docking station for the MacBook Pro that don't break the bank. I've gone through a few, and honestly, most of them have been pretty meh, I will say. They're either overpriced or missing something crucial. Now, I get sent a lot of stuff to check out, and to be honest, I don't review most of it. But this one from Tobin One caught my eye, and I want to share my thoughts because it's actually been pretty great. So I've been using this dock for about a month now, just as my daily driver. I haven't babied it or anything. It's been for real world use. And so far, no complaints. Seriously, no connection drops, no weird glitches, nothing. It's been working flawlessly. So why this dock and not the other 500 on Amazon? Because yes, there's a lot of docks for sale. Well, after researching dozens of docks, I found that this one, at least in my opinion, has the perfect balance of ports, speed, design, and above all, price. It has more ports than most docks in this price range, it's 15 ports at your disposal, with faster speeds, and it doubles as a stand, saving desk space. Now, what initially drew me to this one was the design. I like that it's not just another dock that sits on your desk. It doubles as a stand, it has a cleaner and minimal look, and it saves space. Plus, it's actually really well built, feels solid and premium, not flimsy at all. And honestly, it looks really sleek on my desk. They've clearly put some thoughts into the details. It's got these rubber pads on the bottom, so it doesn't slide around or scratch our desk. And the area where your MacBook sits is also padded, so you don't have to worry about scratches on your laptop. Little things like that really make a difference. And this might seem minor, but I love that it has a dedicated power button. It's just way more convenient than having to constantly plug and unplug cables. Something so simple that most docks fail at. Now, the USB-C cable they provide is not only high quality, but it's long enough that you can use your dock with your MacBook open, not just in clamshell mode. And that gives you great flexibility. I've been using it in both positions, and it, it just works. You get the best of both worlds. But the real test of a dock for me is the ports. And this is where the Tobin one really shines. It's got pretty much everything I need. And more importantly, they are fast. Starting with the front, this dock gives you two USB-C ports and one USB-A 3.2 port, all running at 10 gigabytes per second speeds, which means transferring files is super fast. One of the USB-C ports even supports 20 watt power delivery, so you can quickly charge your phone or any other accessory without needing an extra adapter. I use this one a lot. It also comes with an SDTF 4.0 card reader, which is one of the fastest you'll find in a docking station. And if you work with photography or video like me, this is a huge time saver when transferring large files, especially considering that the MacBook Pro also has an SD card reader, and I make use of both of them at the same time. You've also got a 3.5mm audio port, a dedicated power button, and a LED indicator so you can quickly see if the dock is on or off. Super convenient, especially if you like to power down your setup when you're not using it. Now, just with the front of this dock, aside from Thunderbolt speeds, you're already getting some of the fastest ports available. Will it be great to have Thunderbolt? Sure, but at $185 at the time I'm recording this video, that's a trade-off I can live with. Moving to the back, this is where most of the connections are. You get two USB-C host ports to connect to your MacBook. Then there are two display outputs, one HDMI 2.0 port and a second output where you can choose between HDMI or display port. So if your MacBook supports it, you can connect up to two external 4K 60Hz display, which is perfect for anyone who needs extra screen space. For peripherals, you've got four USB-A ports. Two of them are USB 3.0 with transfer speeds up to 5 gigs per second, and the other two are USB 2.0 running at 480 megabytes per second. I'm actually using one of these for my high lock, where I store all my audio plugin licenses. At 480 megabytes per second, it's perfect for that. Then there's a 2.5 gigabytes per second Ethernet port, and this is a big deal because most talks only come with 1 gigabyte per second, which is way slower. So if you're transferring large files, working with cloud storage, or just need a super stable and fast network connection, this is a great upgrade. And finally, there's another 3.5mm audio port, which means you can have speak plugged into the back, while still being able to connect headphones in the front without constantly swapping cables. Now, I personally don't use it that much because I rely on my AirPods, uh, but it's great to have the option if you need it. Oh, and it comes with a 150 watt power brick, meaning it can deliver up to 100 watts to charge your MacBook, keeping everything powered up nicely. Compatibility-wise, it works with a pretty wide range of MacBooks. Just keep in mind that if you have an M1, M2 or M3 chip MacBook, you're limited to one external display. That's a limitation of the chip itself, not the dock. So, 
Who is this dock for? I think this is the right dock for you if you need a dock with all the essential ports without breaking the bank, if you want a stand and dock in one, and if you want blazing fast speeds for storage, internet and displays. That said, if you only need a few ports or require Thunderbolt speeds, you might want to look elsewhere. So yeah, overall I'm really impressed with this dock. It's easily one of the best value MacBook Pro docks you'll find. Considering the combination of features, build quality and performance, I personally didn't find any other with all these features at this price. So if you're looking for a solid docking station, this Tobin one is definitely worth checking out. I'll leave a link in the description below. So drop a comment below and let me know what your current dock setup is. I would love to hear. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.